Challenger, Houston, we have good te uh, teachers TV. Uh, go ahead with the lesson, Krista. Okay. Good morning. <clears throat> this is Krista McAuliffe, live from the Challenger. And I'm going to be taking you through a field trip. I'm going to start out introducing you to two very important members of the crew. The first one is Commander Scobie, who is sitting to my left. And the second one is Michael Smith. Now, Commander Scobie is going to tell you a little bit about flying the orbiter. And Commander Smith, or excuse me, Pilot Smith is going to be telling you a little bit about the Spock, which is the computer that is used on board. Okay, after they talk about that, I'm going to be talking about the seats and how people are seated during takeoff. And I'll be pointing to the two seats, or the positions on the floor. Then I'm going to be going to the aft flight deck and show how it can be flown from the back, pointing to the payload bay windows, the overhead windows, how you can see out and the mission-specific panels that are going to be behind me. I'm going to be standing right here because Dick's going to be in this seat and Mike is going to be kind of balanced to his right with the Spock on his lap. He's going to pull the Spock out and he's going to be over here. Okay, at that point, Mike's going to move out of the way and I'm going to be going downstairs. <clears throat> okay? All right, now when I go downstairs, that's going to move. I'm going to switch to the cameras. Okay, and I'm going to pick up the handheld mic down here. Now the camera that is right over here should pick me up coming down. We're going to talk about the bathroom first. Is that what we decided? Oh, the handheld mic. Okay. Yeah, I wish I had my... Or is uh, Ron going to be... Here Ron's going to be standing right here, okay? All right. So... Can I just talk and... Okay. Um, once I get down to the mid-deck, I'll be talking about the WCS. Can you see the WCS? Yes. Okay. Yes, I can see it. All right. So on the first part, after I push the privacy curtain away, I'm going to be standing over here by the WCS, talking to that camera, explaining how this is configured, talking about the towels and the washcloths. And I'll be talking about the seat. The other person is going to be sitting right in front of the WCS um, for takeoff and reentry. And then I'll talk about the sleep bag. Now, at this point, as I'm talking about the sleep bag, hopefully this camera is going to be ready. Okay, and, and that's why we put the sleep bag in, because we didn't know whether um, they'd have enough time if all, if all I talked about was the WCS. So we thought I could talk about the sleep restraint and maybe, you know, mention the hatch, but then turn to Ron at the galley, and he would be taking a container out, and I'd be explaining that this is how we rehydrate the food, and he will do the container for me since I have the handheld mic. He'll do it right. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, yeah, showing how the drink container works, and then he'll put that back on. Okay, at that point, he's going to... Well, I think we left it open. Um, he's going to open up one of the lockers. And it's just going to be a clothing locker, and it's going to have the restraints here so I can explain to the kids <clears throat> that everything has to be held down because otherwise we'd have a problem with things floating away. Okay, then he's going to put that back in the locker and while he's putting it back I'm going to be talking about the treadmill that's going to be here. Now as I'm talking about the treadmill this is the cue for the crew to start floating into view. 